almost dinosaur-like. There we go. There we go. I'm telling y'all what. That's good. Some good meat right there. This is America's best restaurants. I'm Danielle DeTomo with the ABR Roadshow, and we're in Culpeper, Virginia today at a place called Burnt Ends Barbecue. Now, we are getting some Texas-style barbecue today from some real Texans, y'all. We're also going to be trying some Mexican food. I'm ready for it. Let's check it out. Hey, Maria, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing great. So Maria, you and your husband own this restaurant together and we're starting things off at the bar, which I'm excited for because y'all, they made us some good drinks right here. All right, we gotta talk about these beautiful creations that your lovely bartender put together. Absolutely, so we're originally from Austin, Texas, so our signature drinks have pay tribute to Austin. So we have a spiked lemonade, and this right. is made with Deep Eddie Vodka from Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. We have the Ronnie Rita. This is a fresh margarita. It's got fresh lime juice, fresh orange with Casa Amigos tequila. Look at this thing. This is when you ask for a margarita. That's it. This is what you're expecting right here. All right. And you said it's all fresh stuff? All fresh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sold. Ooh, buddy. All right, this is a special drink from Texas. It's a Texas brisket. Bloody Mary. Mm -hmm. So this one is made with Tito's vodka, also from Austin, Texas. I'm learning so much today. Mm -hmm. All these uh, different vodkas, I had no idea. They yep. came from Austin, That's Texas. Right. And then, okay, what's on this? Is so this is brisket. You have a jalapeno, you have a sliced pickle spear, you have lime and some celery. All right. And this has got a little kick to it as well. Ooh, and of course y'all put the brisket because the, the Texas Absolutely. style, all things Texas here is what a I'm learning today. whole meal in your drink. Oh yeah, we like that. All right, gotta get a sip of this too. I'm feeling the kick. Yep. I like the kick. All right. I am so ready to try more Maria. Starting off great here. We're gonna head back to the kitchen because it's time to draw some food. Maria, excited to be here, and what are we making right now? Today we're gonna make a Gabe Witch. This is a sandwich that we named after one of our employees who's been with us since he was in high school and now is a young man. So he was making sandwiches to eat while on break and decided he was going to create this concoction of all three meats, so chicken, brisket, and pork. And it's three ounces of each meat, so it's quite a sandwich. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready to see this thing. So I'll let you get started okay. on that and kind of talk right. me through what you're doing as you're Absolutely. making Absolutely, all right. So we've toasted that bun. Now we're going to add our meat. So we're gonna do mm -hmm. three ounces of each meat. So first I'm gonna grab some pulled pork. Now I'll come over here and get brisket, some chicken. And that just falls apart right that there. That is so Falls much apart. Meat. It is, it is nine ounces of meat. So we can also call this the food kama sandwich. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're just gonna chop all this together. And so this is named after Gabe. Tell yes. me a little bit about Gabe. He's been with you since he was a teenager? That's yes, impressive. so he was in high school when he started with us, so probably around 2016 or so. So this is our Gabe witch, nine ounces of meat, quite the sandwich, a fan favorite. That thing, how much does that thing weigh is what I'm curious oh, to know. It's, that's nine ounces without the bun. Oh my so, gosh. It's just the meat. Do you add anything else meat. to it? We have a barbecue sauce that you add on the side. It doesn't need it, but we have it. We offer one kind of sauce, tomato base with a little kick. You absolutely don't need it. You wanna take, right. a, take a gonna, taste of this? Yeah, I'm gonna take a taste of this. All right, you wanna try that with some sauce? Might as well. Might as well. <laughs> All right, this is tomato base. Here, I'll put that on there. Okay. All right, a little kick with that. Okay. Try that. Okay, tell me about the sauce. What makes it so special? So this is a recipe that Ronnie's father had. So it's probably over 40 years old. It's tomato base. It's got a little cayenne pepper for a little kick. We make one sauce and we make it here in the restaurant. I am a big fan of that sauce because of the cake you just mentioned. That spiciness, yes. I love that. That really adds to it. Oh, it just, it makes it right there. Mm. That's good. That's a lot of meat, y'all. So you're gonna be full after eating That's this. That's right. 
We have Maria joining me again, and now Ronnie is joining us. So this is the lovely husband and wife that run this restaurant. So I just want to thank you both for having us today. Absolutely. Thank you for coming out. Of course. Now we have more food to try, so we, we got to start with the food. We do. We got to start with this thing right here, because I've never seen anything <laughs> like this before. Tell me about it. So this is the beef rib. It's smoked so long, it will fall off the bone. So be careful when you're picking that one up. All right. I'm like, this is like me. You me just lifting, have to bite into it. Lifting my weights for the That's day. Right. That's right. I mean, if you're looking to get your arm strength, like this might be it. I mean, tell me a little bit about like what makes this so special and unique. It, you want to go? Follow? No, go ahead. We have a dry rub. Mm -hmm. it, it consists of pepper, salt, and cayenne, and it smokes for hours, maybe eight hours or so, maybe mm -hmm. even longer, depending on the size of the of the meat. Uh, tender to the touch. Take a bite into that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the top. There we go. There we go. Mm. Almost dinosaur like. I'm telling y'all what. Mm. That's good. Some good meat right there. <laughs> how? I mean, how long is the process? At least eight hours for the for that one. I'm telling yes. you what. And I don't know how someone finishes this whole thing, but props to you if you do. <laughs> mm, that was good. All right. Down the line, we got some nachos. Yeah, this is our Supreme nachos or Tex-Mex nachos. This one we have black bean. You can have any choice of meat. This one we have brisket on there. Mm -hmm. We drizzle some lettuce on there, some pico de gallo. We make our own guacamole here when you order it. A little dabble of sour cream and our own queso. I gotta try some of the guac, you already mm -hmm. know. And y'all make this we in make it here. As soon as you order it, we will make it. Oh my God. It's American melt cheese, mm. black beans, and mm. fresh guacamole yeah. made to order, like she this said. This is the fan favorite. It feeds four to five people. It's great with the drinks that we have here at the bar. That margarita I had earlier, get this and that margarita. Absolutely, you're set. absolutely. Oh, yeah. I love the guac with the, with the pico. Mm -hmm. and the great thing is you can get any of our meats on any of our, our entrees, if you will. So mm -hmm. you want it in a burrito, you can put that in a burrito. You can, you can put that hand. in two tacos, you can put it in a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what we got down okay. here? So then we have sliced beef brisket, mm. and we have our very own mac and cheese, which we make in-house using our queso. So American cheese, and we have pico de gallo drizzled in that as well. And then brisket. And brisket. Is such a Texas yes. thing. Yes. Can, you, can you tell me a little bit more about your brisket? So our brisket is smoked for 16 to 18 hours, wow. also with the same dry rub. And we do have a barbecue sauce. It's great. So it's got a little mm -hmm. kick to it. It's tomato based, and we offer it on the side, always on the side. That way you can enjoy the meat. Mm -hmm. And then the dry rub. That's, that's Texas, it. Like, that's right? Very Texas. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And Texas is king. That's our most popular meat here at Burnett's. Mm -hmm. And then the mac and cheese is hitting the spot yes. as well. Oh, yeah. Awesome. I'm like, there maybe I can. Oh, a little sauce on that there one. we yeah. go. See there. You can even put it now, on the mac. You know what? I was thinking that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. is this the sauce I tried earlier with the sandwich? Yeah, that's right. Oh. People use it for salad dressing. You know, they, I was going to say, I feel like you could dip anything in chicken That's sauce. right. That's any, right. Like anything you order here, this sauce. That's, that's right. right. No, for, even for sure. That's right. Yeah. That's right. No, that's right. I do love that sauce. It's yeah. good. We only really make one sauce here, but it's mm. enough. It's enough. You don't you don't need no, no teeth to eat our meat. Mm -mm. <laughs> Facts, though. <laughs> now, I need to learn more about how this all started for y'all, because it was a food truck, and then you bought this location. Mm -hmm. So tell me how all that happened for you. Absolutely. So we moved here in 2010 from Texas mm -hmm. and noticed we didn't have the same type of barbecue that we had become accustomed to. Ronnie's family actually had a barbecue restaurant back in Austin oh. called Pio's Barbecue. Mm -hmm. So we took all the family favorite recipes, the sauce, the rub, and brought it to Virginia. We started in 2015 with one truck. By 2022, we had up to three. Two are mobile and one is stationary. And then we decided we we're ready to take the next step. So we opened up Burnin's Barbecue Emas, adding a little Tex-Mex flair to the mix and the open bar, or the bar with all the fancy drinks that we have. Yeah, and then it's located inside the hotel. Yes. Which, I mean, that's been around, I think it said, was it 1933? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. it's the oldest hotel mm -hmm. in Culpeper, and we're right inside the lobby. There's a lot of history mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. 
And then do you get a lot of people that maybe stay at the hotel that will come over here to There's a you? lot of customers that come downstairs and have a meal, have a drink. We have open mic, we have live music on Saturdays, we have line dancing. Um, we've hosted oh, weddings here, bridal showers, baby showers. It's more of a, a restaurant with the event as well as we get to know everyone that comes in. Yeah. Ronnie's very good at remembering everyone's names, their children's names. When you come in, it's like family. Mm -hmm. I love that. And there's, I mean, as we're sitting here right now talking, there's just a lot of people behind us. Mm -hmm. Are these a lot of your regulars? These customers? are a lot of our regulars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. a lot of history here in the town as well. It was founded by George Washington. He surveyed it when he was 17. You know, uh, Virginia's for lovers. So you have a lot of that um, people that are either you know, coming here for some kind of honeymoon or they're coming here to just to see the history with battlefields nearby, yeah. um, you know, things like that. So, I mean, there's lofts and besides here in this hotel that would stay, you can stay just a couple of blocks down the road and, and stay in lofts and, and actually go do fine mm -hmm. dining and shopping. But, mm -hmm. you know, people do walk down all over this town area just to see the history of it as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. And then as far as you bringing the Texas style barbecue, was this a new experience for a lot of people in this state of Virginia? It was new, very new. So we started off our business selling more pork, which is not a custom in Texas. And we had to really introduce brisket because it wasn't made the same as people had become accustomed to. And now that's our number one seller. Oh my gosh, so people are loving, They're loving it. it. They're like, I love Texas now. Well, thank you both so much for sharing your story with us, your fantastic food. We've had a great time. This is Burnt Ends Barbecue right here in Culpeper, Virginia. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that beef rib I got to try today? What an experience that was. So if you're looking for some great barbecue, some great Mexican food, you can find it right here because they are one of America's best restaurants. And for the ABR Roadshow, I'm Danielle DeTomo. I'll see y'all next time.